little puppy. Puppy in the basket. Puppy in the basket. <sighs> so this vlog is not like the other ones where I got Gus and I got Gretel. I know Gretel's wasn't exactly the way I did with Gus, but um, this is Hans, by the way. His name is Hansel. Um, we're gonna call him Hans because you know, like Hansel and Gretel. Gus is having a temperament <laughs> issue today, so if you hear barking, that's just him being him. But, um, I didn't really show you a lot today, just because it was kind of stressful, because we had to drive through a really bad storm, and I just didn't want to, like, film storms when it's, like, scary outside and raining really hard and, like, you couldn't see for a long time. And it's a three-hour drive to and from so like six hours in total of driving. And then we went to my mom's work and showed her the puppy. But yeah, we went and we just got there and got him really quick because we got to get home and get some stuff done. And so um, I didn't really film him on the way home too much. I filmed a little bit. But um, yeah, so anyway, the introduction went fine. And by introduction, I mean we always try to like take the dogs outside and are introduce them to each other outside the house before we bring them inside and so um they did pretty fine um Gretel kind of is like I want to play with him but if he doesn't want to play with me then I don't care and she's kind of like interested and then also not like she'll run away and go do her own thing but Gus is like I want to see the puppy I want to play with the puppy I'm very jealous of the puppy <laughs> like he is extremely jealous so far because he has been whining and scratching and crying can you hear that y'all hear that he's literally crying <laughs> because I won't let him in here because he did growl at the puppy and I don't want him to be aggressive because he does, he's not an aggressive dog, but he tends to be a little aggressive, especially when it comes to, like, um, the new dogs, like, with Gretel. He was a little, like, pushy, not necessarily, like, mean, but he is possessive, especially over food. And so, um, I did keep her separated from him the first day we brought her home, and, um, I'm going to try to keep... Uh, Hans separate from both of them for a little bit just because it's a new place new surrounding He needs time to get used to the fact that this is his house his space because he's very scared like Usually dogs will be very scared when you bring them into a new place and rip them from their old family <laughs> or whatever and so um, I'm gonna try to get him used to the house and my room and being basket created. That's what we did with Gus. Um, if you saw in those old videos where we used to um, put Gus in a basket when he was a baby and just like leave him there as like a little crib and then he got old enough that we uh, started to put him in the, uh, the kitchen with baby gates. So we didn't have to do that with Gretel because she's four months old. She's old enough now that she can roam around the house and she's well behaved. That's the thing that Gus was not. Gus <laughs> is a very loving, nice puppy on his own terms, but the majority of the time he's a menace. Like he was a nightmare <laughs> as a like not really a puppy, but like um reaching adulthood kind of puppy. Like from six months up, <laughs> he was a menace. And so, um, like, we just, we had a hard time leaving him out in the open because every time we would take him out, he'd pee. Every time we'd let him out, he'd go chew something up. And so, Gretel has issues like that, too. Like, sometimes she'll, like, poop in the floor. Sometimes she'll, uh, like, bite things. But, like, she ripped up the rug the other day. But if you tell her no, she knows not to do that anymore. Like, if you say no many times, like, she's very, very quick to learn and so, um, like I said, back with Gus, he's a, he's not the best puppy, and we really hope that he's going to be, Hans over here is going to be more like her instead of him, because <sighs> Gus, baby Gus, was a nightmare. So, yeah, um, like I said, Gus is a little too 
temperamental right now. So I don't want to like completely leave him. See, I don't know if they're playing or if they're being mean. That's Gretel barking. So I don't know because like, I mean, they do that a lot. Like Gretel will bark at Gus because she wants whatever toy he has. But like, it's just so much right now because they want to be in here with him, but they can't be in here with him because they're too too jumpy and they want to play, but they don't understand that he's a baby and I don't want them to hurt him. Um, so I'm trying to keep them separated for right now. Oh, <laughs> so I went to go check on them and um, like always... Gretel wants a toy that Gus has, so she barks at him until he gets distracted by something else, or she steals it. So, yeah, um, it's kind of stressful right now. Like, getting a new puppy is usually very stressful, and I'm at home right now taking care of three dogs, so I'm very stressed out, so I haven't, like, filmed anything too much today. Uh, I'm just kind of filming this, like, sit-down tell you about what's happening kind of thing because I don't know what else to talk about today like I'm just trying my best to get him situated in the house and like get the other dog situated and like yeah also you want to see something that's his collar and that's the back of his head and when I saw the lady put the collar on him the first thought that I had was Oh my god, he looks like Gromit. Now, if you don't know, <laughs> Gromit was the dog that we had to have put down a few days ago because he had lung cancer and he got really, really, like, really sick that day. And so we had to get him put down. And he was a black and white dog and he had a red collar for the majority of his life with us. And when I saw her put the red collar on, I was like, oh my god, he looks just like Gromit because he's got kind of like an egg head like his head kind of is pointy and Gromit had a pointy head and so I don't know it's just it's weird so that's a thought that I had that almost made me cry <laughs> that's what's going on with me today um so I do want to say that because I do have a new puppy it's gonna be a little stressful so maybe videos aren't going to be a hundred percent like they usually are especially when it comes to like dance videos like I have a whole thing of honey mustard back here because only cool kids have a whole thing of honey mustard back there anyway um dance videos yeah um probably are gonna be a little more scarce because I have to watch over a puppy and um yeah if my videos get really weird it's probably because um I'm dealing with dogs and um I'm not gonna have a lot of time to myself and I don't know if this is just me like thinking back to when we got Gus but when we got Gus I thought that I was gonna be able to just like do stuff like normal like I thought I would be able to like like just leave him and like go play like video games or like dance or work out or whatever and just leave him for a little bit but, um, like, the first few months that I had Gus, I basically didn't have any time for myself. And this was during quarantine, so I was at home. I wasn't working at the time. And so, um, because it was, it was quarantine, and so we had leave from work. And so I was home, and, um, basically, like, I had no time for myself. I just had to, like, dog sit. And so I don't know if it's just me thinking like oh I'm gonna have to do this because Gus was this way because he might be completely different and like we don't know yet not we don't really know their personalities until they grow up a bit but like with new puppies they're usually extremely stressful but Gretel has not Gretel has been so easy and I don't know if it's because we got her a little bit older like she's like oh five months five months yeah, she just turned five months, and so she's extremely easy, and, like, she's just integrated into the house so well, and so I know it's not going to be the same with little man right here, because he's a little baby, but, yeah, I just wanted to, like, give you guys a little, like, face-to-face -face vlog update, because that's what's going on right now, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye! <laughs>